what is up it's milan and welcome back to my channel so happy new year first of all and um yeah so basically today's video we're going to be creating my 2021 vision or dream board whatever you call it um and i've been waiting and waiting to do this so i'm like super excited to finally be able to do this um i actually did I've done this video before. It was my 2019 dream board and it ended up working. Um, I'll leave that video below. I also did a video reacting to my dream board at the end of the year, basically explaining everything that happened. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. So for supplies, I just went and got this really pretty poster board. Um, I went and I picked this up from CVS it has like this gold frame around it and I'm gonna put all my pictures in the middle. And for the photos, um, I took all of these photos from my Pinterest. Here is my Pinterest. Um, go follow me on there if you want some really good inspo pics to use for um, your dream board or just inspo pics in general. My Pinterest is pretty awesome. You can use glue, but I'm just going to be using tape. So that's really all you need. Um, just photos, something to put them on. And yeah, so these are my supplies. And now I will show myself creating my board. And then at the end of the video, um, I'll show you my board and basically explain what all of the photos mean and what I want to accomplish this year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into the montage.
Okay, I am back. Hopefully you enjoyed that little montage. Um, so I ate some Chinese food and I'm back now. And here is my board. Yay, oh my God, it looks so pretty. I really, really, really am happy with the way that this turned out. Um, so basically let's give it a look over. So here's the whole thing. Okay, so we'll start with this side of the board and then work our way over. So starting here, obviously like every year, um, I want to be more active and work on my health and fitness more this year, um, just because 2020 gyms have been closed. So I, you know, haven't been able to work out or just exercise the way that I've been wanting to. So health, then we got this picture. Um, I want money, like I am manifesting lots of money for myself this year because I just, you know, I, could, I just see it happening for myself. I just see making money for myself and I'm trying to keep that vision alive. Um, then down here is just like a really pretty um, picture of a nice apartment. I love this vibe overall like this is what my ideal dream apartment would look like so that's there for that reason okay then this is a photo of venice i actually had this on my dream board in 2019 yeah 2019 and i ended up going to europe but um i would really like to go back this year so just europe in general but um i did enjoy venice so i would go back there um, obviously after like, if it's possible and COVID isn't like an issue anymore, obviously. Um, okay, then this photo, it was just a quote that I liked. It said, stop assuming things aren't attainable for you. You decide that. And I don't know about you, but I like, I'm a person that doubts myself a lot. I doubt my abilities and like my knowledge and just lots of things. So I thought that was a good quote. Um, then this picture is just like, I don't know, just like a cool picture of a girl sitting with wine and it's, I think it's like New York City or LA. I don't really know, but it's like a really nice view. So that's the vibe I want for 2021. Like that's just the general vibe I want. Okay, then I'm gonna switch over to this side. So then we have LMU. So LMU is um, my ideal college that I would like to transfer to. Um, hopefully this fall, um, if you've never heard of it, it's a um, it's Loyola, Loyola Marymount University and it's in Los Angeles. My best friend actually goes here. So yeah, I really want to transfer there this year. I was like very unsure about school and stuff, um, but I feel like this is what I want to do. So hopefully I get in and yeah. Okay, then this goes along with the, um, with the like fitness girl picture, but you know, just eating healthy foods. I really like this picture because I love toast and I love, like I love avocado toast and I love matcha and I feel like that's just a really good like healthy meal. Um, so yeah, just to remind myself to drink matcha and eat healthy-ish. Um, okay, then here we have a YouTube logo and then I put 5k here because I really want to hit 5k this year on um, my YouTube channel. So if you're watching this now, subscribe to my channel. I think 98% of um, people that see my videos are not subscribed to me, which is like really crazy. So if you like me and you like my videos, please subscribe because I really want to hit this 5k goal by the end of 2021. Um, okay, then this photo is just like a rave, a concert. I have missed concerts so freaking much. Like obviously again, like once things are safe and everything, I just want to go enjoy myself, go to a concert, go to a rave, just like let all of this pent up um, energy and frustration out. Um, and then this picture also kind of goes along with that. It's just like a party, like a, I'm guessing a college party. But yeah, I just wanna, you know, 
like just enjoy my youth like people in their 20s should be able to. Um, no thanks to Miss Corona. Okay, then this picture up here is, um, I put that there to symbolize having a lot of sales at my shop this year because um, if you don't know, I do have a small business. It is LA Thrift Babe um, on Instagram and lathriftbabe.com. Uh, I have a website where I sell like secondhand clothing basically. So yeah, I really want to grow my shop even more this year. I'm really excited because I honestly already see that happening for myself. So, you know, I just put it there. Um, okay, then let's go down here. So this is another quote that I liked. It says, when you focus on the good, the good gets better. And that's a good quote because I tend to not focus on the positive and sometimes I focus on the negative too much and then it just like ends up making things bad for myself. So need to focus on the positive. Okay, then down here, um, this was just like a image I searched up and it's of someone's um, Shopify and their sales are like at $31,000 and it said some random person's name. So I just put my name there instead to make it more realistic, you know? So yeah, I want lots of lots, lots of sales and lots of growth with my um, shop this year. Okay, then up here we just have another quote. It says, "To show up imperfectly, but open. To show up imperfectly, but open to change, is better than not showing up at all." Again, this sort of goes hand in hand with like negativity, assuming that you can't do things like. You know, just give yourself credit, give yourself, um, you know, just give yourself that credit. You, you, you can do stuff. Um, okay, then this is random, but every single time I've made a dream board, I've put a Bronco on it because a Ford Bronco, like a 1970, 1960 model is my dream car. So I'm just going to keep putting that here um, until I get one. Uh, then over here, we have another puppy. This was also on my 2019 dream board. Um, Cause I want to get Luna a brother or a sister so that she has a puppy to play with. Um, specifically, I would want like a golden doodle or a mini red poodle because those are the cutest dogs. I love them. Okay, then down here we have two pictures. So this is um, somewhere in Hawaii and Hawaii is my number one like location that I would like to go to this year um, because I've always, always, always wanted to go there and I haven't been able to yet. Um, so if COVID allows, I would really love to go to Hawaii this year, like anytime, it doesn't really matter the season. And then um, this is just like a small trip, but this is um, a spot in Big Sur. Like I, I live in California, so I could honestly go here whenever, but you know, due to COVID, I haven't been able to. So I'd really like to like take a road trip up to Big Sur. I think that would be really, really fun and nice and be able to see like all the different um, like nature spots there. Okay, then the last few things. Um, so I put this photo right here because it, it's actually an Italian passport. And if you didn't know, I am uh, half Italian, so one of my goals for this year I've decided is to get my Italian passport because I want dual citizenship um, just because of how 2020 has gone and just, you know, things, the United States, eh, I don't know. I don't know how long I want to stay here. Um, and I really loved Europe and Italy specifically when I went and visited. So yeah, I would just like to have dual citizenship. I know this can be like a pretty hard process, but I believe that I can do it. And also if you have um, like family lineage or like a family bloodline in Italy, it makes it like much easier for you to get citizenship. So yeah. Uh, okay, then the last photo is just like a cute little studying work photo. And that's because I really want to focus more on my work so that I can get to LMU because yeah, I just want to have good grades and get through college and university and everything. Um, and school's always been really hard for me. So I just really want to put the work in and get through it all so I can transfer and, you know, have the college experience that I want. Okay, guys. So that is 
my 2021 vision board. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave me any questions you might have below. Um, leave me a comment letting me know if you plan to make a vision board this year. I would highly recommend it. Um, like I said, I did one in 2019 and lots of things came into fruition and lots of things happened from that. Sadly, I didn't make one for 2020, which like, you know, 2020 just wasn't the year, so it's okay. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend go out, just put one together. It doesn't have to be like super fancy or anything. Just put one together and, you know, try to make your dreams come true. <laughs> How sappy that is, but I mean, why not? We all deserve it, I think. All right, so that is the video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye guys.